Uh, progressing. Oh, excuse me. Let's do... Luminary steals it restores 2,000 HP, 50 EP, and KO. That's actually not bad. Considering the reviving bomb does 800, and that's all. For 100 extra. Yeah. Ooh. Do a little bit of everything. Now I'm basically broke. That's a, somebody here. Oh, this where is this thing? You writing a letter? Yes, my butler Arnold and Berehard. Imagine the unrest in the city without its ruler. Thought I'd give instructions on how to handle official business in my absence while I'm telling you about my whereabouts. You've got a lot of responsibilities, huh? Saw the Imperial Chronicle. I guess there is no way to avoid this war. Oops, sorry. I was still having trouble putting my thoughts together. Let's all get together in a bit and talk about our plans moving forward. Yes, I understand. Yep. My mirror. Actually, Yuna's mirror, too, is better than that one. It's less foggy. We don't get to see you two very often together. Yeah, you make an odd pair if you ask me. Ah, yes. You think so? I'd say we get along just fine. <laughs> yeah, Macchiato and I are tight. We've been working together before. What, three months back, I think? He went out of his way to ask permission to use the SSS building for a meeting. I was real impressed with his manners. So that's how you came to know each other. <laughs> Can we talk, pause for a minute to say, to appreciate how ridiculous Randy calling Machias Macchiato is? Wait a minute, Machia- yeah, there it is. <laughs> I asked him to quit calling me that, but you know how he is. <laughs> you can only blame your love for coffee on this one, Machias. Oh, come on, don't be such a wise kill. <laughs> should be honored. I don't give guys nicknames all that often. Kind of shows you special to me, you know? That's right, I think I've only heard your nicknames from Yuna and Altina. I, ne I never gave him permission to call me Altini. <laughs> Same goes for Uni. The sky above Eren seems so strange. Yeah. Yeah. It's like we're in a completely different world. Almost reminds me. The Hexen clan village is quite a mysterious place. Almost makes me think of the Northern Lights. Except, you know, during the day. Wait, can I? Is there a side? Oh, sneaky. Come, come, come. Hey, Laura. Laura's here. It's you. Feeling right and rested? More SR seed. More or less. Oversleeping has got me super out of it, though. Sorry for bringing up again, but as if I count our side. From what I've heard, a safe funeral has already been held. For him, Prince Oliver, Toll, and the rest of the fallen crew. See, the explosion had completely incinerated their bodies. Hmm. They. M I wonder if they're dead. If there are no bodies, then they might not be dead. I mean, Osborne literally survived a bullet to the chest. Procession of empty empty caskets. I just couldn't bring myself to attend. Maybe that's the reason why it hasn't really hit me yet. Some things just don't feel real. So I never feel to feel that way. When I think of ringing Celine and William on top of that, it's more than I can even bear. And our side is supposed to be shown at times like this to inspire, to lead. Have I learned nothing? Have I not grown one bit? Uh huh. I'm sorry, everyone. Please 
Forget you saw anything. Words of woe will do nothing to mend matters. We finally woken up. Now is our time to plan for the future, not wait for the past. I don't know. Seems after such a comment, I can't say that you haven't grown or learned anything. Whew. I think we've seen all there is to see. What now? Shall I go back to Rosalia's LTA? of interest yeah we go I know that sounds obvious but it feels like everyone's suffering you're right especially Elisa lower end uses and it really shows how much they all love Milliam yeah kind of got the feeling instructor Rene was keeping everyone together too the old class 7 relied on him just as much as we did. Yeah. He wasn't really the center of this group. He was their rock. Everyone drew strength just from his presence. Well, what are we supposed to do now that he's gone? As if Ash and Yusei leaving us wasn't bad enough. Yusei, or should we call our Duchess Cayenne? It's quite difficult to believe she was putting such plans into this in place the entire time we knew her. Yeah, none of this even feels real. She had a much better grasp on the situation than any of us could have known. It's kind of annoying, isn't it? She said she'd take care of Ash, but we have no idea what she's actually planning to do. I don't like it either. Who are we speaking Ash in person? Back already, I see. Rose. Randy. Man, look at you. Still down in the dumps, huh? Oh, I guess old Class 7's in the same boat. Yep. Well, can you blame them? Absolutely. From what Emma's told me, the combined power of the gnomes and the blood and iron chancellor is completely overwhelming. Yeah, it's gonna take a miracle to break them. So much so that they could bring about the end of the world yeah, with ease. That power they've got is not is not something we can bring down. That's terrifying to think. <laughs> to top things off, we've got five more divine knights besides Valimar running around now. Yeah, Valimar makes six and the seventh. Is the combined? And one of them, that Ebon Knight, Chancellor Osborne, is piloting himself. That knight had an aura unlike any of the others. As if it wanted to dominate all it surveyed. <sighs> yep, that's true. Yeah. Honestly, it... It gave me goosebumps just looking at it. I mean, the other Divine Knights had powerful auras too. But that one... <clears throat> well, if the Blood and Iron Chancellor's behind the wheel, it's gotta be bad news. Yep. Right. There was something else that bothered me. Now, Reen, let us begin. Together we shall write the end of this wretched fairy tale. In ink, black as despair. Right at the end, the Chancellor called Instructor Reen by his first name. Almost oh, like he knew him the well. The kids don't know. But when they met in Heimdall, they were much more formal with each other. Last names and all that. I'm a little impressed that Yuna picked up on that. Now that you mention it. Yeah, because Kurt and Altina didn't. Huh. That is kind of weird. Mm hmm? I wanted to bet with Ali. Oh, Tina knows. Ali? Is there something you're not telling us? Well. <sighs> Ali, please. You're gonna want to sit down for this. Well, you're with the intelligence division, right, Altini? You know way more than us about all this. Hmm. Certain things have been nagging at me for a while now. Not just the exchange between the Chancellor and Instructor Reen but Old Class 7's behavior as well. And then there's the fact that Instructor Reen is not a Schwarzer by birth. Kurt, it seems to be circling the target. <sighs> huh? Uh, oh, right. I guess I knew he and Elise weren't actually blood-related. Interesting. Hey, hey, whoa! What are you getting at here? As a Vander, 
I'm privy to certain information that I believe may shine a light on our current situation. Please, hear me out. Fourteen years ago, just before the start of the Hundred Days War, someone attacked the home of the then Brigadier General Osborne. To this day, nobody knows who was responsible nor what motivated them, but they murdered Osborne's family in their own home. He lost his wife, and, it said, he lost a son. But the son's remains were never found. Well done, Kurt. Uh. Whoa. So that's how it all connects. But hold on, Kurt. How did you put this all together? It's a technique Instructor Reem taught me called the Unclouded Eye. Letting go of your preconceived notions will let you see the truth. I trust I'm not mistaken? You're right. I received confirmation myself two years ago, during the incident at the Infernal Castle. I don't remember if it- was Altina there for that? Though it was only by coincidence, I was there on a mission to capture Duke Cayenne. Instructor Reen and Old Class 7 were shocked to discover the truth. I can imagine. Yeah, that's right, Class 7 was there, they do know. Yeah, no kidding. That'd mess anyone up. But that would explain why Reen and his pals were so dead set on foiling Osborne's schemes. <clears throat> Yuna? Are you angry? Yuna, Instructor Reen's birth father, doesn't change who he- Of course I'm angry! How could I not be? Damn it! Hmm. Why would he keep all that from us? Why? Really? Yep. And not just him, either. The rest of Old Class 7 is just as bad. Come on, you two. You're bringing them back here. Now! Oh, what are you gonna do? Th throw a tent temper tantrum? Stomp your feet and I'm... scream? No. We are gonna have a few words with them! Yuna... Settle down, short stack. What exactly do you want to say? <laughs> well, that's our uni, I suppose. <laughs> I guess she hasn't changed that much after all. It seems that for better or worse, nothing keeps her down for long. <laughs> Yuna ran around the village, rounding up old class seven. Face of her fierce energy, they were powerless to resist. Good. That's everyone. Um, Yuna? <laughs> what is it you wanted to talk to us about? I... kind of get the feeling you're upset with us. Oh, I'm not upset. I'm completely pissed off. You know, please. Size. I don't know what you're planning, but try to keep a level. Kurt, Allie, I need both of you to shut it. We just learned the truth about Instructor Reen's father. His birth father, I mean. The Blood and Iron Chancellor, Giliath Osborne. Oh. Well. Yeah. So, you found out, huh? Please, Yuna, don't think any less of Reen. He suffered so much because of Osborne. Mm -hmm. But he never agreed with the Chancellor's policies, with his unreasonable demands. It's true. For all the pain my brother has caused me, it pales in comparison to what Reen has suffered at the hands of his father. Each mission Reen fulfilled for his father ate away at him piece by piece. But he always retained his sense of what was right. His actions in the Northern War are the perfect example. I get it. I haven't known him for as long as you have. Just a little bit. But I know what kind of person he is. And I think there's something that we in the new Class 7 understand even better than Oh, really? You do. do tell. That he... That Instructor Reen is still suffering. Even now. Bitch, please. You don't think the old Class 7 can't know or see? Oh. You're right. We've seen it with our own eyes. We saw the way he fought. The way he gave his all to try and stop the Chancellor. But even then, it wasn't enough. So he chose to put his life on the line to keep us safe. It's true. Ali tried to protect him from certain death. But in the end, it was Milliam who paid the price. 
She became the sword to save all of our lives. So, question then. What happens if the sword breaks? The shock and grief sent Instructor Reen into a rage. In trying to avenge Milliam, he ended up triggering the end of the world. So maybe me, maybe I'm the sacrifice. And now, his father, Osborne, is trying to use him for something I, else even beyond I all was, that. I originally thought I was Ash, but maybe not. I know that right now, Instructor Reen must be blaming himself for everything. For not being able to protect Milliam. For making a mistake that can't be undone. It's not so much a mistake. We're talking about the sword. Dark Flames 341. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. Uh, yeah. So, are you, so... The sword that was used against that corrupted uh, Divine Guardian. That's why someone... Someone needs to find him, grab him by the collar, and shake him until he snaps out of like it. like getting close enough at this point. To tell him that he's wrong. That it wasn't his fault. Wasn't that supposed to be your job? You're his friends, aren't uh, you? You do realize they were there, right? They were a little bit pressed to make sure that the rest of you could move on. Uni. But that's what I want to know if, uh, if a million can come back if the sword breaks. I don't <laughs> think it works that way, though. If you won't do it, then we will, as his students. Instructor Reen has always offered us support when we needed it most. It now falls to us to do the same for him. And I swear I will. Not as a Vander, but as a member of Thor's Branch Campus's Class 7. Instructor Reen has been my mentor, showing me the way. He taught me to think for myself, gave me the courage to make my own decisions, yeah. helped me figure out I'll who I really am. I think it's come really a long am. way since the, she first started school. That's why my decision was an easy one. I'll protect everyone, just like Milliam did. And I will do everything in my power to rescue Instructor Reen, so that I can thank him in person. If I had to guess, she would be gone if it broke. Oh, okay. I guess you know more than I do, then. <laughs> Sheesh. They got us good there. Yep, I agree. They didn't just catch up to us, they blew right past. You can say that again. <laughs> we came too much earlier than they did, but all we did was mope around. We let our sadness and our fear of what we have to do next paralyze Somewhat. us. Okay. How could we? It's so embarrassing. So much for setting an example. <laughs> <sighs> so that means... Of course. Yes. You're all absolutely and correct. Obviously, they're all in. Protecting everyone, huh? That certainly sounds like Million. She's passed the baton to us. Now we must work together to protect what we hold dear. So, Dark Flames, how's it going? Reen has always devoted himself to helping others. We owe it to him to... F Do you remember what we told Reen and Milliam that day? That we'd work to stop the war on the surface and find out what's happening behind the scenes. We've already started on finding out what's going on behind the scenes. It's time for us to do just that. And don't forget about Crow. Seems like he's got his memories back. Yeah. We'll get him back on our side, even if we gotta beat some sense into him first. <laughs> That'll be fun. <laughs> I like the way you think. <laughs> it's not going to be easy, though. Especially with that mobilization law in full effect. I don't think that's gonna slow Crow down. True, but we can start by investigating that black pleroma grass that sprang up after the ritual. Looks like all you guys needed was a little kick in the butt and you're back on track. No problem. <sighs> I'm glad to hear it. That puts my mind at ease. Yeah. Yep. But this is only the a beginning. long road ahead of us. Aside from rescuing Instructor Reen, we've still got to find Muse and, and Ash. Crow. And everyone and else Crow. from the branch campus, too. You're absolutely right. Yeah, so as I was, as I suspected, uh, one and two mirror each other, and three and four mirror each We're other. We're going to take everything back. Our instructor, our entire world. You won't be doing it alone. We'll be there to help you every step of the way. 
You have our gratitude for bringing us back to our senses. Yeah, thanks. The trial that awaits us will be the ultimate test of Class Seven's worth. And that means all of us. There's no difference anymore between old and new Class Seven. That's right. Our shared goals have united us. And together, we can overcome any challenge. Right! right. <clears throat> Seems like we're all in good hands. That's probably what those two are thinking. Airbone in airspace. Okay. Pentagrel? I assume. We don't have any other... <clears throat> any other major players in the skies anymore. Unless it's a new player. Yep. The pantacle. But it looks like it's... Someone's casting a spell on it. That's what must be a pretty powerful spellcaster. To affect the whole ship like that. Because it's the biggest ship... Well... Out of all of all of the other airships. Fourteen twenty hours. We've cleared the third air fleet search radius. Good. Return to alert level two. Now, full rudder starboard. We're headed north northwest. Yes, sir. My, they're all so well trained. Every soldier knows his proper place. There's only one that can do that. There's only one that can do what? Uh, uh, save Milliam? I can't help but wonder how the Civil War would have turned out if this army of yours had been around back then. It's weird those two are working together. I can't imagine it would have changed things in the end. At most, we might have prolonged the war for a year or so. Though if we'd had a more suitable leader, things might have turned out differently. Oh, oh, the spell. Only one that can do that. Hmm. I feel like it should be obvious, but I'm drawing a blank. I do believe you're right. Oh, please. You're giving me too much credit. Muse? It's only thanks to your generous assistance that I even stand aboard this airship. And so you claim. Oh, it's Vita. Yeah, that would have been my second guess. Them. But wait, how? She's standing right there. Uh, maybe the spell is doesn't need a consist. Maybe it doesn't need to be consistent. Maybe it's a sort of a one and done. That's right. The way you see tens of thousands of moves ahead, you could even teach the Blood Damn. and Iron Chancellor a thing or two. I imagine you'd make a fine anguis for the society if you were so inclined. <laughs> well. I certainly would enjoy meeting the infamous Grand Master in person. However, in the end, I too failed to stop the Great Twilight. Failing to notice that Ash had taken that gun is one of my greatest regrets. That one mistake oh, was all back it took. when we were hunting that spy, the Calarian spy. If only I had seen it, I might have been able to stop him. Perhaps it was simply the will of Adios. Or far more likely, the curse. Yes. It's something powerful enough to completely defy the laws of causality. How impressive that you were able to use that very power to devise a counterattack. Perhaps. But it's an unforgivably cruel plan. No different from taking the entire world hostage. How could I face Instructor Reen or the rest of Class 7 ever again? Putting Schwarzer aside for now, what's become of the members of both Class 7s? They ended up escaping to your village, did they not? I haven't heard anything more than that. Nor have I. At least it seems they made it there safely. Minus Crow and Ash, of course. Though it's hard to say if they'll be able to bounce back after witnessing the worst possible ending huh. firsthand. If that's what you think, you severely underestimate Class 7. They're going to be fine. I'm sure of it. I believe in Yuna, Kurt, and Altina. They'll inspire the others and shake them out of their despair. Then together, they'll start moving forward. Maldine's got the right the of it. The time I spent with them in class made that more than yep. clear. Damn 
it. I never asked for this. <clears throat> well, looks like Ash escaped. Can't say I'm too surprised. You think I need to be hidden away somewhere? I got myself into this shit. I'll get myself out. They recovered his Gundam. <clears throat> oh, found Valmar. Still corrupted, I see. That's the sword, also corrupted. Hmm. Freaking crow. Oh, his hair's grown out a little bit. It's kind of strange. Ah, there you are. Been looking for you. Burn, what does he want? And Duvely. Ah, it's just you guys. <laughs> Collaboration. What do you mean, just you? You heard me. <laughs> you got your memories back then? <laughs> so, what's your plan now that shit's about to go down? About that. My contract's up. I'm nobody's pawn anymore. Right now, I'm just the Azure Awakener. And that means I've got my own role to play. At least, for what little time we've got before it's all over. Oh yeah? Huh. <sighs> it's fine though. Works out well enough for me. Gives me one final shot at getting revenge for my grandfather. But if you're looking for a fight, you better keep walking. That's a damn shame. Well, if the mood strikes you, you know who to call. <laughs> Awesome. Of course, Link Burn would want to fight. He never fails to get on my nerves. <laughs> but you, why are you so <laughs> completely irresistible? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't tell me you fell for me. Nah, guess not. Your heart already belongs to that master of yours. Yep. Huh? Now that he's back. Unless a certain goody two shoes went and stole it away. Absolutely not. <laughs> I swear, why is it that you, McBurn, and that ogre girl all treat me like I'm some love-struck little child? Look at you pegged. Well, you <laughs> see, are. there it is. <laughs> <sighs> anyway. Classic crow. Definitely, he's definitely what back. What exactly do you plan to do about him? Hmm. It's a good question. It's his own problem to deal with. The way he is right now, I don't have it in me to bother with him. Nice work. We're lucky you're here. You! Is that Lecter out here? No. 
even worse. Fucking George. Totally had me pegged. You finally got him under control. I'd suggest keeping him like that. Don't worry, though. It won't be much longer. <laughs> the rivalries will begin rivalries. soon. Rivalries? That doesn't sound good. Oh, just shut up! We're not going to be part of your evil scheme! <sighs> Damn, I've seen better days. <sighs> I wonder why they continue to do the uh, the question marks and stuff. You already know it's me. You need to beat this. Come on. Think of all the people who are counting on you, waiting for you to snap out of this. I mean, to be fair, that's the second time a friend of his has died in his arms. Like that's not something can be got over. Do you hear me, Rain Schwarzer? Well, yep. Because of what happened in the past now. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm I mean listen, carrying every the way that Rain carries everything on his shoulders, it's you can only do so much before you end up breaking completely. And Million's death was kind of the, the straw that broke the camel's back, if you will. So I'm guessing that hair changes of permanent at this point. Because before that was only when uh, using Ultra Instinct, but now it seems like it's gonna be... Uh, it's no longer just that or... I'm always using it apparently. I'll have to wait and find out. Because even on the cover of the game and all the on the on my banner and everything it's all it's all white not the typical black nightfall trophy unlocked that's the end of the prologue oh boy so we're gonna save because it's always a good idea but hopefully things have been going pretty good for you dark flame good day or night wherever you may be Yeah, I'm apparently, uh, sh my work has been shut down this weekend for uh, Labor Day, so I got some extra free time I wasn't expecting. Same Growl Labyrinth. Yeesh, this place gives me a serious case of the heebie-jeebies. I don't know, it kind of makes me think of the old schoolhouse. S so this is it? The Hexen Clan's Labyrinth of Ordeals. That it is. As I told you yesterday, your long rest has left you weak. 
If you remain so out of shape, you will find yourself in mortal danger with every battle that lies ahead. I do feel like I'm weaker than before. <sighs> I still feel kind of bad that we couldn't head out with the others, though. Yeah, well, this is more important at the moment. You just be weighing him down. Earlier, yep. Okay, Randolph, take good care of these three. Grandmother, try not to be too hard on them. <laughs> I doubt it. Of course. It. I may not look it, but I am an instructor, remember? Oh, worry not. I plan to rough them up just enough to get them ready. <sighs> Come now, there's no need to be so down. You'll catch up to us before you know it. Besides, while you're doing your training, we'll be gathering intel. True. We'll look for info on Lean, the mobilization law, uh, anything that might come in handy. Come join us once you're ready. We've got a tough mission ahead. We're gonna need all hands on deck. Understood. Pros I promise. God. We won't be far behind you. Good luck. <laughs> and please, be careful. Yep. Don't do anything crazy. At least not without us. Oops. Right. Then until yeah. we meet again, Just may the wind little and the bit, be with you. A little bit terrified about with what Rose got Overcome planned. whatever ordeals await you, and come find us. I know what she means. Oh. All right then. Time to figure out just how much weaker we've gotten. So our objective is to enter the labyrinth and begin exploring. Yes. Once you have fought off the vicious monsters in your path and made your way to the utmost depths of the labyrinth, that will be it. For today. Orlando, if you would lead them. Roger Wilco. Randy, I... Thank you. For helping us, I mean. I imagine you must be worried about the other branch campus students and Tio. Mm -hmm. Sure, but I trust Tio taught to take care of herself. And worrying about things you can't control doesn't help anyone. That's true. What I can do to help, though, is get you guys back up to speed while Reen's not here. And I'm sure that focusing on this right now will lead us to everyone else down the line. Thank you. We'll do our very best. We appreciate your guidance. Good. It sounds like you are ready, then. You stand before the grounds where witches of the Hexen clan who wish to venture outside the village must first prove You're their You're making worth. me nervous, Dark Flame, when you say you know what she means. St. Graal Labyrinth. Not gonna lie. Alright, Act 1, the Trials of Class 7. Here we go. place. Been here before with the old class seven. It's a pretty tough dungeon. Might have a hard time clearing it. Wait, you think we've gotten that week, do you? Yeah I do. So why don't you show me I'm wrong, huh? By the way, you'll probably need these. I noticed you dropped them earlier. Oh, master cords. I'm just saying you need levels somewhat. Okay. Alright, let's see. These fall out of our arcuses? Yeah, none of you noticed. Sheesh, how many quartz do you guys lose like this? Anyway, don't forget to equip them. Roger. Um. Yeah, we know how. Yeah, we know how this works. Oh wow, it's really gonna. All right, all right, fine, fine. Let's do... Oh, we can't do... We can't do secondary? That's dumb. Fine. Whatever.
Oh, they brought back the, um... Uh, the upgrade option. Okay. Alright. Thought you were just joking earlier. We truly are weaker now than we were at the Growl. We also misplaced the rest of our course, as he said. Uh, that's why I'm making you run this drill. We can't do anything about your Butterfingers, but I'll get you back in shape. And I want to make sure you can use orders. You mean brave orders? That shouldn't be a problem. Our Arcus is our fully functional. Until I see you use it, we don't know for sure. Plus, I'll give you kids some battle tips. Go in, I'm your instructor, old Reen's gone, and trust me, I will work you way harder than the Ashen Chevalier. Whatever you throw at us, we can handle it. I agree. Let's get started, then. Very well. Well, we're at level 28? Alright, at least we're not at level 1. That would suck. Ooh, I like the new, uh... The new breakables. It's pretty cool. It's a crystal. Usually it's just like a crate or a barrel or something. Victory is assured. Just all right. So that's we can't uh, modify anything there. Huh. Huh. Hmm. I wasn't sure if anything would be there. I'm glad I stopped to check. Was well, this some sort of maze? Whoo, baby, some treasure. It's interesting to see Randy in the party, he usually isn't. Everything here is level 40 to 50. 40 to 50? Yikes. I'm- dude, I, I put on normal, what the hell? Oh, I can change it mid-game. Except nightmare mode. I guess, uh, once you- Nightmare mode is the exception where once you lock it in, that's you're done. Like that's all you can do. Which is fine. I didn't even expect to be able to change the difficulty mid-game in the first place, honestly. That's a monster. It's more like that's like call it a fiend. We should exercise caution. And you'll regret it if you're too confident. Labyrinth suppresses the higher elements in phase one. You should still be able to deal with the opponents here as long as you make good use of those combat links in your orders. Got it? See. She has some training so we can re-familiar ourselves with combat tactics. Yeah, good idea. From combat links and the tactics. Alright. Hmm. Let's it's nice that it's actually kind of nice that it's not a grid. We'll start out like this. Oh no, we don't want to be too close to each other. So we could end up getting screwed over by AoEs. Let's see, what what does Randy got? Alright, so that's his as skill as Berserker. 20% chance to KO. That's not bad. 50 for burn, and that's, okay, so the war price, that's, yeah, it's basically Gaius's and Ash's move. Alright, cool, cool. Can we change, do we even have any? Oh, I got a little bit. Uh, so we'll put strength, we have an action. Oh, he's already full. Awesome. I can remove, though. I'm impressed. I would have expected this to be locked. That works. Okay, so Randy got my Master Chords. I'm gonna... Yeah. We had the wow, he just stood there and took it. 
I don't know whether I should be nervous or excited. Alright, so brakes are still a thing. Reduce to zero and left vulnerable. Sledgehammer is an excellent way to, yep. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so I have to do. Alright, fine. Break through! Sledgehammer! I played through uh, Cold Steel 3. I know how this works. Alright, so we don't know anybody's stuff yet. Plus, it forced us to use Sledgehammer, so I might as well just attack. Very well. Oh, it's an area. I thought it was a line. All right, cool. There we go. It's down. Gotcha. Great time. Oh, here him. I go. You're done for. Beat this. Damn, son. <laughs> no problem, oh. So I wonder if he's gonna be a permanent, or if Randy's gonna be like a in and out, kind of like how Tova was in two. I went all right, but still, the power of her order was underwhelming to say the least. So it wasn't my imagination. See, told you, didn't I? Why did orders get weaker? They've got nothing to do with our physical strength. Are you affected too, Randy? Nah, I'm fine. Some of the old class seven members were having the same problem. It didn't hit anyone as bad as you guys, though. Rose think it has something to do with Reen's curse. His curse is affecting us? That is fairly inconvenient. But why has it affected us more than the others? Maybe we, we cut a lot more. We lost more mana when I'm piloting our Panzer sold it? It's so annoying we can't use orders like we used to. We might have to look for a way to get your orders back to full power. But for now, just think of it as more intense training. I know you can do it. You're right, thanks. Alright, hang on a second. I must step out. I shall be back momentarily.
return. So let's see if brave words are different in some capacity. So the powers are reduced. So I guess it's not just uh, for from the story. Apparently their orders actually are being depowered uh, effectively, like even within combat. Like it's not just for a you know, increasing tension or something along that lines. Okay then. It's good to know. Unit's order can help inflict break, curse, and well's flurry of rapid attacks. How can I think with Altina's defense orders to give an edge? I must make numerous attacks against the more use certain arts, items, and crafts. I'm willing to bet that's a trophy. To, to fill up the beast Jerry. I'm willing to bet, but I'm not gonna worry about it on at least not on this playthrough. Probably do that on my own time. Victory is assured. There we go. Right, new cutscene. What the? A new type of fiend? I don't like the look of it. Yeah, we better be careful. This might be the perfect time to test out gunner mode. I was already using gun mode. What the hell? Oh, yeah. See, this one's smart. Maybe not that smart. Yeah. Huh. This mode change, I'll, yeah, I know, R2. Your kind of mode doesn't use the same attacks. The range of your normal attacks counters increase. Oh, counter increase at two, that's interesting. Striker should be used against powerful enemies and gunner mode is best against the multitudes. Turn. We're gonna go for the KO life and hit four, so that's nice. You're done for. Eat this. And if I had seen Randy do that halfway through three, would have creeped well. me out. But after seeing what I've done, what I've become, it doesn't phase me that much. Uh, there. It's down. Gotcha. That dude's dead. Now. That was weird. Was it? It looked like it should have been a more than just a basic attack, but I don't see any status elements or anything like that. Set striker, top, top. My turn. There. My turn. It's an AOE, but it, it looks it. more intimidating than it actually is. Hmm. Oh my kill. Very well. Alright, you whack job. <laughs> Come on, you whatever you Behold, the vent. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to kill him. Still, no complaints. Not bad, huh? <clears throat> We're doing better now that we've been at this for a while. <clears throat> Let's keep the momentum going. Keep on going, you guys. Aha! I knew it was a good idea to poke around. Ooh, free Sepith. Awesome. I wonder if there's a chest up here. Yep. Oh, treasure chest. Ooh, HP. Um, let's put it on... 
Yeah, we're gonna put on Kurt. Because Kurt seems to go down pretty fast, at least in the last game. Maybe they rebalanced him for this one, I'm not sure. But in my experience, he's a bit of a glass cannon. Watch out, there's a strong foe ahead of us. That's the most annoying one you can find in the area. Use everything you've got and don't hold back. Orders, crafts, everything. Goes without saying, but combat links are essential. Try to break the enemy first. Yeah, my order's just a thing for that. Should Altina and I follow with Rush and Burst next? I love the link attacks have a better chance of inflicting break. You guys know what's up. That's pretty good. I'll let you use my order for this one too. Let me know if you need it. Don't rely on it too much though. Only use it when you really need it, alright? We got it. Crab Warrior. Nice. Specialized Offensive. It buffs your team and increases damage delivered to your foes, both physical and magic. Follow it with s crafts and high-powered arts to deal damage. Okay. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Got him. Don't let up. <clears throat> Russian Burst yet? Yeah, we know how that works. Take my first rodeo, boyo. <clears throat> oh, good, we have S, S skills already. I figured Randy would, but I didn't bother to check with ours. Excuse me. Alright, so I want... Wow. Private Warrior only costs two? Strength up for one turn, but the damage is good for four. Hmm. Let's do we'll give it a go. How proud warrior! Let's do I want we're gonna make the most out of that strength buff. This is it! So by rearranging everyone's specials, we should be able to maximize. One more! I'll finish it! So the strength should be up plus the additional 20%. It's been over 169.59 hours in this game. Damn! Something tells me you must love this game, huh? Chuck. There. Gotcha. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That's okay. Now, transform. Sync complete. Go, Arcadia Gear. Ready? Launch. Rionac. Open fire. Just a bit. Now when you say 169, are you talking about just four? Or are you talking about the entirety of Cold Steel? Let's continue. Ready the sold already? Alright, I don't complain. That works for me. Whew, the danger's been dealt with. Yeah, but the enemies like that used to be a piece of cake for us. It appears we need to play catch-up. It's quite aggravating to think all the training we will need to do just to return to how we were before. Don't sweat it. Take it one step at a time and you'll get there. Everything will be fine. Besides, it looks like you've gotten back into the swing of things. I'll leave the decision to make them to you guys now. Take down the enemies however you want. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. 